All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is really just going to be a look at all of these knives because I finally have all of the Great Eastern Cutlery in-house branded Barlow patterns. So I've had some of these, you know, for a lot of the time and uh, sometimes only one of them, but finally I have all of the different patterns, the different frames that Great Eastern Cutlery has made their in-house branded Barlows on. Now I say in-house because there are some knives that they've made for outside brands that are Barlows that are not, you know, these frames. So two specific examples, the recent number 87 Cowboy Granddaddy Barlow for uh, Remington, which I have a review on if you would like to check that out. And then also the Northwoods Madison Barlow, which is a curved Barlow. It's a large curved Barlow. So uh, you can check out, I believe I have a video on that also. If I do, I will definitely put the link in the description and you can check those out. But these are all five of the patterns that Gradation Cutlery has made Barlows on for their own brands, meaning Tidiute, these three here, and then Northfield, and also GEC. So all three of their in-house brands. And so these are the pattern number 14, number 25, number 15, number 77, and number 86. And the you know, the, the first of these that I got was the number 15 TC Barlow sheep foot, uh, my, really my favorite, you know, knife that I've bought and, uh, probably the one that I've carried the most, certainly the one that I've carried and used the most of my traditional knives really ignited my love of Barlow's and Great Eastern Cutlery and traditional knives. This is a classic 3.5 inch closed, very medium sized knife. So I'm going to give you a size comparison. That's one of the you know, main reasons for doing this video so, so that you can see all of these compared. And this is also the knife that is the inspiration for the art in my logo there. So there it is. Uh, then a little bit bigger, you have the number 77. So this is a Yankee Barlow. I recently traded into this with my friend Alex, who is also a Barlow Bearcat. And uh, it is a little bit bigger, still really slender, not a you know hefty knife, but a little bit longer and a little bit taller, as you can see. Uh, this is also a knife that I don't believe they've ever done as a Titty Ute Barlow. They've always done it as a Northfield Barlow. They have done other you know models on all of these knives other than the Barlow version. So uh, they've done harness jacks and things like that on the 77, as well as all kinds of different versions of the 15. But then the biggest of the in-house branded Barlows is the number 86 2AB. And so 2AB is, I believe, 2A corn Barlow. I don't know if they ever really confirmed that, but this one is in stainless, which I really like. They did do a carbon steeled version of this 86 Barlow, but I don't have that one. I really like this because it does have the really interesting and very traditional seeming to me uh, stamp with the two acorns there and GEC. I agree with what some people said about this when it came out that this could be a little bit higher, but I think it might have interfered with the pivot. So the pivot is right here. I actually have used this one a lot also and I had to uh, tighten it back up a little bit. And so you can see that pivot a little right there. So they probably could have lifted that a little higher. I don't know, I'm not a knife engineer, but I really like this one. It's very slender for its size, but definitely heftier than the 77. So you can see that it's both taller and I think a little longer, but it almost looks, you know, putting it right next to it. So I guess that's one of the reasons why I would do a comparison like this is that it looks pretty much the same length, a little longer, certainly, but uh, not quite as much longer as I had thought. And, and it is definitely thicker. So they did a jumbo jack, or not thicker, but taller. They did a jumbo jack on this pattern, which is a thicker uh, two bladed knife. And I have that one also really enjoy it, but I like this a lot. I do think that this is a very practical Barlow being that it has stainless steel, you know, it's easy to carry for its size. I like the, the 2AB a lot. Then I would consider the 25 
to be the next smallest below the 15. And the reason for that is because it is taller in this you know, dimension than the number 14. But this is the recent number 25 Birlow. I have had other versions of the number 25 Barlow. Uh, they have done some Northfield versions. I don't know that they've done a, a Tidio. They have done Tidio versions, but I don't believe they've ever put the TC stamp on the number 25 pattern. Uh, but this is the Barlow Bearcat Club club knife version. So uh, the Barlow Bearcat Club is a an online knife club for Barlow enthusiasts. I'll put the link for more information uh, and where you can apply if you're interested in that in the description also. But we got a club knife here on this number 25 Beerlow frame and I'm um, super excited about it, really love it. I don't have a whole lot of use for a cap lifter, to be honest, but it's a very you know historical knife. They have done, uh, our companies have done this type of multi-use blade before. And so it's really cool to see GEC doing it now also. Uh, but it's a little heftier. I've always felt like the 25 was, you know, felt good in the hand for being such a small knife. And with this easy open, for me, it sits my, my ring finger, not my ring finger on the right hand, I guess, but uh, that finger sits really well in that easy open and you can get a really nice grip you can put your thumb here you know if you wanted to you could certainly choke up into that cap lifter and uh definitely feels pretty good in the hand for being such a small knife uh you get well not that much edge uh on this version but on the normal versions of the 25 you get a pretty good amount of edge also for it being a uh, pretty small knife so this is definitely a great fifth pocket knife uh, particularly if you do, you know, need a cap lifter. I think that these recent beer lows are really cool. You know, some people said that it was a novelty and everything, but for me, um, I think a lot of normal everyday use, you do use the last inch or two of the blade more than, you know, the, the part towards the, the pivot. And so this should do most of your, you know, opening boxes, cutting tape, cutting paper, cutting strings, that sort of actual EDC task. And then here is the number 14. And this is uh, was, I believe, called the Lick Creek Barlow. Uh, Lyle Fry had named it that. Um, there's different names for all the different variations. But uh, this was a recent variation. They have done the 14 TC uh, before. This one was from 2022, which also, this is from 2022. And I'm forgetting what year this is from. 21. So these are, are all recent except for this one, which is 2013. So interesting to kind of be getting them all. And the truth is, like I said, I have had these, I've had all of these patterns before. Uh, well, this was the first that this was made, but uh, the 77, the 25, and the 14 I had previously. Um, the fifth, the 25, I had issues with um, a couple of them that I had had because the one was an S knife and then the other, uh, I don't remember, I, maybe I just got rid of that one, but um, the 14 I had always thought was too small for me. I actually, you know, to give you a little bit of a, not the, the most um, proud story, I had a 77, really liked it, and uh, I had thought that I had paid the rent for, for the apartment I was living in at the time, and somehow had not and thought that I had, and so I wanted to pay it right away, and <laughs> I actually just sold a couple knives, and, and the 77 I had at the time uh, went on the chopping block, so I did miss it, and uh, definitely taught me a lesson to be a little bit, well, that, among a lot of other things, um, taught me a lesson to be a little bit more <laughs> cognizant of my finances. That helped to teach it anyway. But yeah, that's why I don't have a 77 or didn't until I got this. Uh, but I always thought that the 14 was a little bit just too dainty. So it's a very small knife. It's about the same length as the 25, maybe slightly longer actually, but uh, it's definitely feels smaller because it is so much less tall in this dimension. Um, so when you hold it, you know, you can still get a, a pretty good grip, a three finger grip for sure, but it is a, a little bit smaller in your hand. I find that, that the uh, 14 is really easy to carry. I have actually been carrying the 14 a lot in a slip, which is something that I don't 
you know, do super often or didn't do super often until recently. But um, the Boiler Bearcat Club also had these slips made by Lynch Leather. And uh, the 14 fits nicely in it. You know, it has a little bit of extra space. But I have actually been carrying this 14 a lot in there. Actually, this slip by Lynch Leather fits pretty much all of these. So you can see it fits the 15 really well, pretty much perfectly. It's kind of um, made for the 15, I would say. Uh, fit the 14, as you saw. It will fit the 25. Again, same deal as the 14. You get some extra space here at the top. Uh, but you can see you can squeeze it and take it right out. Um, and then the 77 fits just, you know, under the edge. So I would say that it's really, you know, well made for the 15. Uh, it's really well made, but it's really well fit for the 15 and the 77. And then the 86 here, you get some, uh, some um, over the top there. So not perfect on that, but you could carry, you know, carry it in that if you wanted. But you can see the 86 is, is definitely bigger. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out of here. There we go. But I've carried, um, you know, actually all of these except for this one because I, I just got this one like yesterday. Uh, and I really love Barlow's. I just think that they have so much charm. Um, they're really, you know, they just feel both very beautiful. I think all of these are really great looking knives, but also certainly made uh, ready for use. So I wanted to do... I guess not too quick, but relatively quick video showing all of these Barlow patterns uh, that Gradation Cutlery has done on their in-house brands. Lay them out one more time here. You have the 25, 14, 15, 77, and 86. So uh, great knives. I really love Barlow's. If you love Barlow's, like I say, check out the Barlow Bearcat Club. Um, but I just wanted to show this video to make this video to share these knives with you because I am very excited to finally have all of these different patterns in my collection. So if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also subscribe to the channel. Click the bell and select all so you know when I post new videos. Check my other social media out. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like these and knife-related topics. You can also use the hashtag ThinkKnifeThoughts uh, if you are thinking some knife thoughts and uh, want to share them. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.